Let's take it to the start It was just me and my guitar A dreamer on the road No map, just all those stars I never backed away I played where I could play Loneliness befriended me Felt older than my age I let go a little I fell for something new For clicking this video welcome to my space i've been in the united kingdom for 10 plus years i came in as a student and right now i'm nearly so yeah i'm going to be sharing my journey with you in this video if this is something you think you would enjoy sit back relax and let's have a good time watching this video guys my name is stephanie and you're welcome to the metro gypsy platform <laughs> So before we start, please just click the thumb up button, it helps the video. If you're new here, welcome. Please click the subscribe button and the bell right beside it because you're going to enjoy this video and be ready to share it as well. If you're not new here, I love you so much. Thank you for coming back. I hope you subscribed though. So I came here first of all as a student. I came to do my master's guys and I was in Leeds. So I went to Leeds, did my master's. Before I even did dissertation guys, I was really tired of the city. It was a very good city for education, but it wasn't like it didn't have my vibe. So I ran to London. I was still writing my dissertation. I finished everything in London. Just got a place randomly from, I think, spare rooms. I'll link that as well because I know a lot of people struggle on getting houses in the UK. So I shall go a place and finish up my dissertation. Then I went back to Nigeria thinking, uh, people, no people are just telling me, when you come back, come back, you give you a job with this, that, you know. So I went back, I called everybody that was promising things. Nobody was coming to me. Even because I went to a company, I don't mention their name, for my dissertation to interview some of the staff, due to someone I knew and all that. Called all of them, it was just super story. So my dad was not like, why don't you just go back? So I went back to my graduation and then, you know, all my friends, they're like, they doing post-study, they're applying for post-study. Post-study is post-study work visa, PSW, you get it after you've schooled in the UK. So I did that, guys. It was quite an easy process. Anyway, I got post-study work visa, guys. So guys, I got a job. Shout out to my friend, Obira, also. He gave me the link to the first job I got in the UK. So yeah, it was a good one. A lot of my mates dropped out because they didn't get really good jobs. So a lot of people just went back to Nigeria. I didn't even care. So who didn't even bother applying? I know like one of my mates now that is doing so well in Nigeria that I didn't even bother applying and just went back to Niger. I did that for two, three years. Guys, after that, that's when I started understanding that come, this immigration story is not easy. What were my options? The options are if you're dating someone that they marry you, they can sponsor you for five years or a company will sponsor you five years, or you now do, I think there were other routes, but these are the only two I knew, and then the third one, which was the entrepreneurial routes. I don't even think they do that one, they do it on a bigger scale now. So then you have to bring 50K for the entrepreneurial route, you bring 50K and tell the government that you know, you're going to actually invest in the country, you're going to pay two people's salary, minimum 23K, so that was the option i had if i was going to stay in this country I by the time you, your leg actually entered two years already done for so the one year you schooled you don't want to go back again like what are you going back to nigeria to do it's not like anybody's waiting for you they never has anything for you so we had to be if that would do it guys i should apply for this entrepreneur visa i was still working at my company obviously and at some point they now came to us because they knew my post-study had already had a serious company in this country once your thing is coming to the Three months to be expiring. The commander asking, HR commander asking, I was supposed to so. So I was like, no, I've applied for my visa. I now brought the appointment letter. Luckily for me, that was fine by them. If I hadn't gotten a job and carried that letter to anyone, nobody would answer it. But because I was really working there, thank you, Deloitte. They shall kept me there. That's how they said how they didn't believe I was going to use the fifty k to do business in the country. Da 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 da. Guys, we had to go to court. Something new. It was sweet for a moment. This love I never knew. He called me little dreamer and said I'd be okay. <laughs> I shall wait to court because it was. I got a lawyer obviously, and it was just like mm, it's not a big deal that you know they always say these things. But then again. The, Michelle went to the court, so came back. So I wouldn't say the location of the court now, 
Or should I say it now? Okay, I'll say it now. Okay, so the court was Richmond Magistrate Court. In fact, I'd never heard of Richmond or been to Richmond or done anything with Richmond, but I shall win. <sighs> so, shall we there? Obviously, you know, normal banter. This one talk, this one. I didn't even ask me a question. I can't remember. Probably asked me a question or two. I shall answer. Obviously, my lawyer was, you know, speaking his own. Then we were done. Some weeks or months later, the lawyer called me. He thinks it's 50 50 because, you know, the way we spoke about. She said, okay. She said, de, 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 de. Finally, she came to all positive. Guys, at this point, my parents don't know one thing. My brother has one, as in, nobody in my life, aside maybe my friends, Amaka, and my, you know, close friend, Nelly, really, my two or three of my friends, I actually knew what was happening. Because to me, I don't really like sharing, like, my negative news, if I would say, because I just carry the burden of you knowing, and to me, that's not even necessary. Anywho, this came through, so I got the two and a half years. Okay, now the next one and a half years, that was what I came to, and I'm here right now. So, one thing I would say is that most things are actually quite straightforward over here, and then the only reason they wouldn't give you a visa is if, number one, you have a criminal record, number two, if you give false information to home office, like they had a friend, but I remember her receiving a letter from home office to provide something, and because she had moved houses, the previous landlord did not give her the letter, I feel like they just gave her for six days to leave the country, so criminal record, providing false information or not re responding to them when they mail you then if you've like broken an immigration law before those are the things that are very very strong that might actually you know make them deny you but other things guys pretty pretty straightforward <sighs> so guys um yeah i think i'll just end this video here to be honest because there's nothing i won't say again right now obviously in consulting if you see my next five videos i talk about consulting but this was literally my journey so after all these routes the um psw the entrepreneur routes no more entrepreneur most routes are five years ideally if you have all the documents some of these routes are also can be 10 years okay another way is if you um, give birth i said marriage if they sponsor you if you also give birth for a british citizen as a lady or if like you're a guy you have a child with a british year you can naturalize using the child with the five year or ten year depending on the documents you have so yeah those are those so yeah students post study work entrepreneurs your girl is here um on the way to you know what you're going to see in the other videos so yeah. just hoping there's nothing else i'm forgetting to mention let me just talk about the period when i came to do my dissertation before i got a job do i just said i got a job was as if ah, i just came i got a job guys no the first job i ever got was a an internship i remember working with katrina do something was a fashion light so i just used to help her research designers in the baltic regions and we have one or two meetings she'll just pay my transport for me i just want to be doing something in the meantime, I was applying as well. Then the next one I got was for a shop. It was, what would I say it was a child? Maybe a vintage shop or something. Somewhere in East LinkedIn. Actually, they just expect you to be smiling as everybody that comes inside. You know, maybe I was just looking at the racks, looking at clothing, looking at, you know, just trying to, I, I didn't mind keeping stock, you know, just making everything look pretty. But I uh, one day she just called me that come. You know, they smile. <laughs> That's why I shall lose that job. And I lost it. And then I now just started applying into, I remember Barclays, I remember um, Royal Mail, I remember um, this would approve British Gas. Any graduate I was applying, applying guys, literally applying 50 roles a day, 50 roles a day. I'll now go for one interview. The easiest interviews to come used to be those marketing ones. They always say it's one nice way on the website. You now go there, they also tell you how you can stand on a close because I'm selling maybe insurance. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think it's marketing in Nigeria. <laughs> Is that so you sell insurance or selling any rubbish. You have to say how people grow. You know that nonsense. Ha! Huh? It was sure hectic, but we did it. And as I said, Obi also was the one that gave me the link to the job. Both of us joined that company. We did it together. In fact, our journeys have been kind of very, very similar in the way we've been progressing with our careers and everything right now. And we'll see, we'll never forget his name because, yeah, my first job, I remember telling him, was this my friend that gave me this link and we applied for it? Da, 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 da. So that was it. You know about this country, I forget the grace of God. Grace of God is there, but you have to put in that work. Divine favor is there, but you have to put in that work. Like, it wasn't like I came to this country that I realized that prayers go, well, you see your mates, they don't even pray, they don't even know what prayer is, but they're just doing their dissertation, they're doing their assignments, they're researching, their, and they're getting A's. You're there doing, you do half, you don't pray. No, it was this country that I knew that hard work pays, smart work obviously pays, but well, put in that effort. And God will now come through for you. So yeah, that's it for my journey, guys. Let me just end this video okay. here. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Click the top of the Follow me on Instagram at Metro Gypsy. That's where I create content on the go. And I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.